Hi, Saggy. Hi, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your June love messages. And first of all, let me just say, wow. Okay. Second, this is general, so it may or may not resonate. Please look at your, your moon, sun, rising, Jupiter, whatever is in your charts. Also, um, those signs as well to see if they resonate with you. Sorry, got a little tongue tied there. <laughs> distractions with the fuckery that's going on here so okay I do have a few different groups here so this is for group one because I want to make sure that I get all my saggies in everybody's situation or as much as I can and one video for you guys so for this group here okay wow so coming into June you are gonna be in this energy of lust desire passion you and a partner, I don't know what it is. It could be multiple, but it could just be a specific specific partner where, man, they you have this aura about you where people are going to want to keep reaching out. Maybe somebody is like, oh, my God, she looks so sexy. He looks so amazing. I just need to. Somebody could be an ass man, too. Like, I need to, re, I need to get that ass. That ass is mine, you know. You could be bringing on this energy of, passion and desire somebody here wants you okay Sagittarius I feel like someone is lusting after you big time with the lust card here it's like they are I was gonna say aching for you <laughs> hey what if they are aching for you I don't know um they're wanting to sexually be with you it's gonna be like intense the reason why I say that is because we have I want you okay we have the I want you card. This is from the deck that I created, um, Unspoken Messages. And with the I want you and the lust card here, it's like, okay, I'll, maybe there's going to be someone that's going to keep reaching out for you. Like, hey, I, I, I'm not going to leave you alone until you give it to me or I just want, I, I want to be with you. I want to sexually be with you. And so you're like, okay, well then come through, <laughs> come through, boo. I spelled it out as C-U-M. This is my, my latest deck, my Between the Sheets deck. So I, I'm going to be using that, two of my decks that I created in this spread. So we have come through, boo, and then the Knight of Wands. So you could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or the person that you are going to be with. It could embody the energy of a fire sign where there's a lot of passion and desire because what we have here is the passion is strong. So the passion between you and this partner is going to be extremely strong where they're like, you know what? I, I, I can't. I need you. I want you. I want to reach out. They're reaching out. I want to come through. I want to come over. I want to sleep over. I want to, I was going to say, eat you out. Hey, whatever. <laughs> Maybe they do. But it's like you have to be honest with yourself, okay, with the flame here, the fire. There's a fire igniting between you and this person, and you cannot deny it. They can't deny it. It's like it's the honesty here. It's like, okay, i got to be honest with, with you. I want you. I want to sexually be with you. I can't hold it. I can't hold it back anymore. Like, someone's lusting after you, and they're going to get what they want because you're going you're gonna to allow them. <laughs> you're going to, you know, you can't rape the willing, okay? You're going to play rape, maybe. <laughs> Please come rate me, <laughs> but you know, maybe for a play, who knows? But yeah, that's what I see going on here. Um, I we I also have the I can't get enough of you card. So this person, if you give it to them, once they come through and you give them what they want, you get what you want. Oh man, they're gonna keep wanting to. They're gonna keep wanting more and more of you. So they're like gonna keep reaching out. They're like, oh my god, I can't get enough of you. You're so amazing. You're so good. You smell good you taste good the lust and the desire is freaking strong you guys are all over one another it's gonna be intense so for this group hey if you're gonna be in this energy embrace it enjoy it. go with the flow someone's gonna take you away on their horse or you're gonna ride a horse hey fuck it <laughs> but like i said someone's gonna score with the six of wands here this is all about reaching out to that one person getting what you want and then you keep going and going and going because you cannot get enough of each other because the passion is fucking strong that you're like, damn, I want this candle to stay lit. So it's going to stay lit. So that's what I have for this first group here. Wow. It was pretty intense. Intest. Intest. Wow. I can't even talk. Intest. Wow. <laughs> Intensify.
my emotions and passion. I cannot. I just can't. Okay, so the second group we have. All right. So let me. There's a lot, actually. I'm like, oh, my God. When is it going to stop? So we have here manifestation, connection. We have love. And we also have doing juju. Okay, so I feel like for this group, you, my feminines and masculines are in this energy of trying to, ma trying to align yourself, first of all. Aligning yourself with your chakras. I see meditation here, trying to ground yourself because you know when you want to manifest love or you're trying to manifest a partner that has the same connection as you. Okay, you, you it starts with you. So a lot of you guys are going to be using this new moon energy by manifesting a partner to come in or manifesting someone or true love to come in or maybe someone falling in love with you. But it's all about love for this. So the doing juju here is when you manifest, that's doing juju all on its own. I It's, it's called ritual. It's magic. Okay. Both of them, you know, ritual, magic, it's, it's juju, manifestation. The law of attraction, that's also juju. That's also magic. So that's why I created that juju card because it's like when you do those things, it's magic. It's nothing negative about that. You know what I mean? It's the intention you put into things. If you have good intentions, then, hey, use your gifts, use your powers. That's what the earth is here for, um, tapping into that. So feminines, masculines, if you are in for this group here, I feel like you guys have been doing the law of attraction, meditating to learn a love, to find love. I feel like you're going to get it. It's funny. Look at the love card. It has number 10. Kind of reminds me of the 10 of cups in a way. So I do feel like you're going to manifest someone who are, you're going to have a really nice connection with. You're going to go out for drinks. We do have a love letter here. Maybe you're going to get an, a, an unexpected message, a love message from someone like, hey, um, I have hidden feelings for you. The reason why I say that is because the moon card is here. So the moon card is all about, you know, things that are hidden, things that are below the surface. Uh, maybe some of you guys are going to be going on double dates and you, you know, you end up falling, falling in love with someone, especially after doing your manifestations or your rituals. Um, and you end up finding that person you have that connection with. So, and then we have, um, the three of cups. So obviously the three of cups is, you know, celebration coming together, union. Um, so yeah, I feel like you are definitely manifesting. This connection, manifesting a union with a lover, um, manifesting this connection to be together. So that's what I feel like <laughs> what's going on here is um, someone's going to want to reach out to you because the law of attraction, you're aligned, you're, you're believing that it's going to happen, so it's going to happen. And then with the, obviously with the moon card here, someone's going to catch feelings or maybe you already are in love with someone and you just want and you know that connection is there and you just want them to you guys want to be closer together um and you want them to express how they feel so on and so forth then what got me like a little wow is the the ace of cups and the ace of wands here oh what so obviously this is all about an offer coming in and the beginning of a passionate relationship, right? This is something passionate. Uh, something has sparked something within a partner where they're going to come in and offer you love or they're going to come in and express how they feel with the moon card here. Like, they're, they're, I'm hearing for some, this is maybe confessions. Like, hey, I'm confessing that I have feelings for you or after that one night I'm in love or love at first sight. Why? Because you, you've, you've done the work and because you've done the work, this is coming in, this strong connection that you might end up falling in love or you're already in love and now you're going to get that reassurance that this partner is feeling the same this person might be feeling the same so this ace of cups here that's coming through it's coming through you're going to be getting those love messages coming in from a partner that wants to you know be with you it's going to emotionally fulfill you it's going to make you feel good why because love makes us feel good so that's what I'm getting with this. Enjoy it, guys, because if you are doing the work, love is coming in. Enjoy it. Okay, moving on. 
All right. So which one do I want to... Okay. So we'll go with this one. So this is a different group here. Okay. We have Denial. We have the Hangman. I'll put this in the middle. The Hangman. We have um, I'm Sorry. We also have the King of Swords. We have the Six of Swords. And we have the Seven of Swords. So for this group here, I feel like you are... You could have been taking a break, okay, from someone. You could have been taking a break. Maybe you haven't seen them in a while. You're not in communication or it's very, very vague. It's very like little communication to none. Um, you could be dealing with an air sign, a Pisces, a fire sign, an earth sign. It, it doesn't matter. But someone here is taking a break or maybe you guys had a break because there's something that happened. Someone got in their feelings or there was some shit that went down and um, somebody was in denial like I don't want them I don't need them and then you know come to find out that maybe you do you want to you want this person in your life and um, having this break gave you a different perspective it gave I feel like it could have gave, given this masculine a different perspective um, because maybe they drowned themselves in work or they were always traveling or always working and they were in denial like I don't need this connection I don't need this or whatever maybe they treated you like shit maybe you treated them like shit like back and forth bickering and stuff but I do feel like this new perception this pause in the action really helped them to see things clearly and to look in this look at themselves in the mirror and say you know what I was at fault or I shouldn't have said that. I really do love this person. I really do have this special bond and connection with this person. And they're sorry. Yeah, I do feel like somebody is sorry here. Someone wants to apologize. I feel like an apology might be coming through for some of you guys. And it could have been, you know, with someone who could have been a narcissist or somebody who was egotistical, very prideful to say they're sorry, but they... They could be in denial saying, no, I don't need to say I'm sorry and yada, yada, yada. But this new perspective is really going to help them and say, I'm sorry, whether it's directly or whether it's through um, expression or physical um, actions and stuff. Um, with the seven of wands here, um, I do see that someone is coming in. It could be a fire sign coming in where they're going to come towards you. Their energy is just surrounding you nonstop. Maybe you feel like they're, this person's going to come back because with the Seven of Wands, it's all about energy coming in. So it's like maybe you feel their energy. Maybe they feel your energy intensified and very strong right now to make them think about you or maybe you're highly on their mind or they're highly on your mind to a point where you're like, okay, I'm getting signs that they're going to come in. So I do feel like you guys are going to have a chance to make it work. And with the I'm sorry card here and the six of swords, it's like you guys are going to work things out, say your your sorries, and you're going to move on. You know, you're going to move on together and, and be peace. You're going to make amends and make it work and, you know, be together again. So that, that's what I feel for this group is, is what's going down. So if that's what's going on, um, expect them to come back so you guys can have that peace and move on and, you know, be on amends. You know what I mean? So there you go. That's what I have for that group. The last group here is, I saved the best for last because it's very freaky, by the way. I'm having a sip of my coffee. Very freaky, by the way. So I was like, mm, maybe I should save this for, <laughs> for last. So we have fulfillment. Okay. Then we have... Ooh, where do I even begin? Where do I begin? <laughs> All right. We have whatever daddy wants, daddy gets. We have the queen of fire. This could be you, Saggy. Some of you could be dealing with, look, there's the Aries sign. Maybe you have Aries in your chart, whatever. Um, and then we have, whew, we have Bon Appetit, 69, and the Four of Fire when, you know, someone is going downtown. There's a sign of Aries again. Oh, my goodness. Then we have Dominate Me in Bed. 
with the punishment, you know, someone smacking that ass. I told you it was crazy. Then we have Sexually Need You and the um, Chariot videos. What? Okay, so Sagittarius for the oh, hot tamale, hot tamale. Um, where do I begin? Holy shit. Some of you guys are in a connection where you like to please your partner. Sagittarius, you're very sexy. You're you're ready to go at any given time. It's like you stay ready. You you stay sexually ready. So for this group, it's like, okay, this is why your person is so I feel like they're obsessed with you. Someone is obsessed. You have the tendency of making your partner obsessed. Why? Because you just you you make them feel like hey you want me come and get it i'll give you what you want but you got to treat me right and please me too make me happy and i'll make sure you're really happy you know so with the queen of fire queen of fire look this the woman here um she's playing with herself if to, from this point of view it could mean that you're showing your partner that maybe you're making videos of yourself you know touching yourself, sending it to your partner, and it, it really turns them on. You're really down to do these kind of things, and maybe you are sending them nudes or pictures, and you're like, hey, you want it? Come get me. And it's like, your partner's like, oh my God, I sexually need you now. Or you're like, hey, I sexually need you, and this is how I'm going to show it. Come through. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm getting with that. With the fulfillment card here, Obviously, um, there's a lot of drinking involved. This person fulfills your every need. It's like the Ace of Cups in a way where you always leave them satisfied. Okay, you're down for everything. Um, you, for some, hey, if you've never done that 69, maybe it's going to happen. Maybe they're going to eat you out like a motherfucking pancake on their birthday. Who knows? Cupcake, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever the case is is like hey you want me bon appetit come get what you want i'll let you eat it's a all all you can eat buffet <laughs> with you <laughs> it could be a twin four of wands is all about the twin flame energy i feel it's twin flame energy i feel like someone's coming to your house because it's all about the stability the home whatever Maybe, you know, you're sneaking around doing some things. Who knows? Very, very fucking sexual and freaky energy with this. You're going to be very satisfied this month for this, this group here. It's like you, whatever you want, you're going to get. Whatever daddy wants, daddy gets. Whatever mama wants, mama gets. And with the dominate me in bed and punishment, it's like you allow, you love it. It turns you on. When your partner takes when your partner takes charge and they're like, oh, you've been a naughty girl, let me spank you. And you're like, yes, whatever you want, I'll give it to you because I'm down for it. And they're like, smack, you've been a you've been a bad naughty girl. I'm gonna show you who daddy <laughs> daddy is. I know it's freaky. I gotta turn on my fan. I'm getting hot. <laughs> I'm getting pretty hot. Um pomegranate is a very sexual fruit it's about love it's about sexuality you're very sensual it's a very erotic fruit here but the wine is kind of like you you make each other drunk you you make you know how to make your person drunk on love drunk in love is what i'm getting with this message here so you like your macho man. You like someone who takes charge. You like them aggressive a little bit. And man, you're just in this energy where you have your partner like, oh my God, I need you so bad. You're sending me these videos, these nudes, these photos. And I'm like, and they're like, okay. And you're like, okay, I'll see you later. And then you tease them and walk away. And they're like, oh, I'm going to get you. I'm going to punish you when I see you. You've been, na <laughs> you've been naughty. I just got a vision of a masculine ripping the feminine's panties off. I'm surprised that didn't come out because <laughs> that deck, I mean, that card exists in that deck. Um, yeah, so for this group, expect a lot of uh, sexual energy, a lot of, uh, I feel like the specific, if it's a specific person that does this to you, that brings out the freaking you, 
you're gonna enjoy the fuck out of it or they're gonna enjoy you to the core you know what i mean so hey have fun have fun saggy embrace it you are just letting go let go let flow and because of that you're enjoying yourself you're moving forward with the with the chariot you stay winning okay this is all about success triumph you know focus is on you all eyes on you all they want is you they always sexually need you and boom i mean how how much more graphic can this one get you know how much more can it get <sighs> anyways okay well that's what i have for you guys enjoy this energy have fun and yeah so if you guys want to book a personal reading everything is down below please give it a thumbs up like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in your next video bye bye